Hello and welcome to a video overview of the Fayetteville Free Library Suits FTC Skystone Engineering Notebook. We've made a number of improvements to our notebook this year, helping us to earn the Think Award at the Corning Qualifier, which earned us advancement to the regional tournament. Before we start looking at the notebook, I'd like to thank our secondary engineering notebook captain for her help with the notebook this year. I'd specifically like to thank her for her photographic abilities. The pictures she takes look consistently better than mine. Now let's take a look at the notebook. A PDF copy is provided in the description if you'd like to review it. Let's start by looking at the cover. It has a very simple design showing our logo and team number. Many teams have very simple covers, so they generally make a fine impression. However, if a cover is truly creative and interesting, it can be even better. Perhaps we'll have to think about that for next year. Now let's look at the summary page. The summary page is probably the most important page in the entire notebook. It's the first that judges will read, and it's the one they will read most thoroughly. The judges will only have time to read certain select passages from your notebook, and the summary page often defines which ones they choose to read. Because of that, we provide references to various parts of our notebook. Each section of our notebook is themed with a different color, and we therefore use that color for the references. Blue for the engineering section, green for the team section, gray for the strategic and sustainability plan, and maroon for the robot overview. It is very important that the night before competition, you make sure that the page numbers you are referencing are correct. We created our summary page and the references within it, but then we added another 11 pages to the beginning of our engineering section, which offset all of the page numbers in the engineering section. We didn't catch this, and we submitted our notebook with faulty page number summary page references to both of our qualifiers, yet we still somehow received a Think Award. We divided our summary page up into these three topical sections, which we think is better than trying to go through the whole season chronologically. Last year we put lots of little pictures in the summary page, but we abandoned that this year for a number of reasons, including the fact that it's hard enough to fit everything we want to say onto one page, even without pictures. I should also mention that because this is the most important page in the notebook, it's critically important that you get your wording right. Please, proofread your summary pages. A lot. Moving on, here is our table of contents. It gives the page numbers of the major sections of our notebook. Here is the cover page for our team section. It contains its own table of contents with the contents of the team section. Team biography section, pages 2 through 6, team history section, pages 7 through 11, etc. Then we have the cover page for the team biography section. It has a description here in blue and a miniature table of contents stating whose biography is on which page. Now here is the first page of our team biography section. It has everyone's picture and a paragraph about them. Almost every FTC engineering notebook has a section like this, but ours has something special. Notice the scan for video biography QR codes on the right hand side. Each of these is linked to a Google Drive video of a team member reading their biography paragraph. That adds a human touch and something else that's even more important. What I'm about to say is very important, so please listen. The judges will generally have to go through 20 or 30 notebooks to decide which one receives the Think Award. They can easily eliminate notebooks that have lower standards of documentation, or that don't include a business plan, or that are missing some other generally accepted section. That's why it's important to have detailed documentation. But the judges will still be left with a handful of notebooks which are all documented very well and have all the generally accepted sections. Beyond this point, it becomes very difficult for the judges to decide between notebooks. Each notebook will be hundreds of pages long, so the judges cannot possibly read a substantial fraction of any of them. It may become very difficult for the judges to tell which notebook really has better documentation. However, the judges can tell if one notebook has some section or feature that all of the other notebooks do not. At this point in the judges' deliberation, a small yet creative feature such as the biography videos can become very important, causing it to stand out, giving it a much higher probability of receiving an award. Moving on, here is the cover page for our team history section. We have a page on each season that our team has participated in. Sadly, despite contacting everyone I could think of, I have not been able to obtain any pictures from our first season, Rescue. Instead, we have this cross-hatched grid. We do have some nice pictures from all of our other seasons, though. Here is the cover page for our R Acronyms section. And in case you're wondering, I'm the one responsible for these loud and difficult-to-read colors. Do you like them? Anyway, the R Acronyms section contains the official list of unofficial meetings of the suits. It's not a very long list yet, but hopefully it will grow in the future. Here is our social media section. 
It provides links and QR codes to the three social media platforms that we currently use. Now here is the outreach section. It is the largest section in the team section. It begins by documenting our We Do Lego Robotics class. This was a very nice outreach event because it allowed us to teach a class every two weeks over the off season. One page is used to document each class. Here is a section about us demoing our robot at the library's summer kickoff party. We have sections on what the event is, what our goal was, and what happened. Here's a discussion of a LEGO robotics camp which was taught at the library. This was kind of the LEGO League team's project, but a few of us helped, so we stole it and put it in our notebook. We have a few more events down here at the bottom, but not very much. It would have been nice to have a few more outreach events. There were quite a number of outreach events at which there was no more than one team member present, and because of that we did not document them. If we had, it would look like we had quite a bit more outreach. Even so, this year's notebook still contains more outreach than last year's did. If you are interested in our notebook from last season, there is a link in the description to a video which we created about it last year. That video is now the second search result on YouTube, at least when you're searching for bad FTC engineering notebook. Yes, I was very excited when I found that out. Now here is a section on our competitions, themed in purple. We chronicle each competition entirely, including arrival, judging rounds, practice, and matches. In the section regarding our first qualifier, Corning, the documentation on matches is not quite as thorough as we would have liked because it took quite a while for the Orange Alliance to release its data and we do not have any footage of these matches. There's that Think Award. We did have footage and Orange Alliance data from the Sequoia qualifier, so we have much more in-depth match information there. That's the end of our team section. Now let's move on to our engineering section, the longest section in this year's notebook. It begins with a 13-page table of contents. The pages of this table of contents are not numbered. That is so that as the table of contents grows, it does not offset the page numbers later on in the notebook. Then we see the cover page of the entire engineering section, followed by the cover page of the first section of the engineering section, the robot overview. The first page has a diagram and some text overviewing our first robot revision. This was the revision present at the Corning qualifier. The next page is a diagram and overview of our second robot revision. This robot was present at the Sequoia qualifier. It was meant to be an intermediary stage as we developed our robot for regionals. The next page is where our regional robot would have been had it not been for COVID-19. We have a diagram of our robot's building zone autonomous programs. It shows the robot's path along with annotations and a QR code linking to a video of the robot performing this autonomous program. We then have some flowcharts, which graphically show the procedure of our Building Zone Autonomous programs. I haven't seen any other teams do this, but I do think it's a good idea. It helps the judges to see a level of organization that they might not see otherwise. Then there is a diagram of our Loading Zone Autonomous program. In this program, the robot takes one of three paths depending on the Skystone arrangement. Each path is drawn in a different color. Maybe there is a better way to do this, because the lines are a bit hard to follow. It would then be flowcharted on this page and the next. We then have a few blank crosshatched pages. We remove several of these blank pages every time we lengthen our robot overview section. That allows us to lengthen our robot overview section without offsetting all of the page numbers for the rest of the engineering section, which would force us to reprint several hundred pages. Speaking of several hundred pages, we created our notebook in Google Docs. It is generally not a good idea to put more than a hundred pages in one Google document. As the documents become longer, they begin to load slower, sometimes pictures disappear, and problems arise in printing. Because of that, our engineering section is actually made up of two documents. We probably should have started the second document once we made it over a hundred pages, but we held out until 200. We did, however, learn a few tricks to make document printing more reliable. Leave a comment if you'd like an explanation of those. Google Docs now allows page numbers to start at any value. That allows for the page numbers of a section to be contiguous, even when it is spread across multiple digital documents. Side note, at the Sequoia qualifier, I had a very, very nice conversation with Team 9773 Robocracy. They're a very nice team, and they told me that they create their final notebook in LaTeX. LaTeX is a text-based markup language, and although it does take some time to learn and does not allow for easy collaborative editing, it does have very nice typesetting and is a standard in scientific publication. We still aren't using it in our notebook, but I do think it's a very interesting idea. If you'd like to know more, several resources are provided in this video's description. Now back to our notebook. I won't bore you with all 181 pages of meeting logs, but I will highlight a few things quickly. 
Each meeting log begins with a table documenting the date, time, and duration of each meeting, the tasks accomplished, and the participants. The body of each meeting log is not contained in a table. That allows each meeting log to stretch on for as many pages as needed. If necessary, meeting logs contain or end with a cross-hatching pattern to fill unused space. Diagrams are important. We have some, we need more. I should be fired from taking pictures. Pictures on even-numbered pages are on one side of the page, but pictures on odd-numbered pages are on the other. That makes the notebook look more symmetrical when bound. However, later in the season, it would begin to favor inserting pictures in line rather than on the left or right side of the page. Torque calculations. Do them. Trust me, they're useful and not hard. A picture is worth a thousand words and a linked video can be even better. Nice pictures that were taken by other people. Flowcharts. Annotations. Field testing. Chess. Programs. Wiring. More diagrams. Coronavirus. <sighs> Would have been nice to finish the season. Moving on, let's take a look at the business plan. Our business plan is quite short, but that's because we're sponsored by the library, we didn't do any fundraising this season, and we didn't purchase too much. The first page talks about what a great sponsor the library is, and the next two chronicle our expenses. Next is our strategic and sustainability plan. The first page discusses what we thought our strengths and weaknesses were last year, and it proposes that we appoint primary and secondary team captains over various areas of the team. The next few pages delineate the roles of these captains. There are seven captainship titles, and within each we have both a primary and secondary captain. That's the end of our notebook. I hope you enjoyed this video documenting our documentation. Perhaps I could make a behind-the-scenes video documenting this documentation video of our documentation. No, no, I'd get stuck in an infinite recursive loop. Besides that, if you have anything to say or ask, please leave a comment or send an email to ftc10161 at gmail.com. If you do, that will make me very happy. Thank you and happy documenting.